Cat Williams set the internet on fire with an interview on Shannon Sharp, man, telling the world, man, all these black dudes is out here putting on dress for the white man. <laughs> now, the question is, did Dave Chappelle, too, put on the dress? Because if we all remember, Dave Chappelle was the one that popularized this conspiracy theory that Hollywood was intentionally putting black men in dresses as part of some sort of humiliation ritual. Now, is it just entertainment or is this also happening to the white counterparts in Hollywood? Well, the broski got receipts for you guys, man. So make sure you stay tuned to the end because this is crazy. I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down like, wow, all these brothers got to wear a dress. You got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail, so he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on, and, it, huh? What? A prostitute? No, nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with that. That should have been in the discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean... It's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We're supposed to shoot. Every, every minute you waste costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm, nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress. Now, he is absolutely right in the fact that all the greats have done it. And man, is it going to hurt me to show you what I'm about to show you, people, man. Because Dave Chappelle is the broskis' favorite comedian, man. I didn't even know he had a new special out on Netflix, man. Cat Williams interview with Shannon Sharp completely, completely shadowed his new special called The Dreamer or Dreamer. Something like that, man. I highly recommend you guys check it out, man. It had me dying. <laughs> now, did he put on the dress? I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> Check this out. This is an old bit with Howard Stern. Somebody playing Howard Stern. <laughs> Brahma's gonna do the news, and uh, we got some great guests coming in. <laughs> hey, what are you guys laughing at so much? I think I fanned up too much, jerk. Y'all seen that jiggle? <laughs> he ain't just got a dress on. He got makeup. <laughs> he got some big old boobies. <laughs> Look at that Howard Stern in the nose. All right, let's uh. Let's play a new video of Baba Boobie's Banana. Oh, Rob, you show the tape. What do you think of it? Well, Howard, I... Hey, Robin. What's the matter with you? you have a... Hey, yo, 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 man. You just gave hella heat to the trans community and your latest special, Mr. Dave Chappelle, man. And you are here playing a trans character, man. Just because you ain't put on the wig don't mean you ain't talking like one, you ain't looking like one, and you don't got the big old boobies like one. Go. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Really? That's probably a chest call. <laughs> hey, Robin, you taking temperature? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just take the thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, we got more receipts, people. We got more receipts, man. Look at this video from one of his movies, man, from back in the days. 1993. I should have never worn these shoes. Just don't match my purse. Lincoln, fix your boobs. You look like a bleeding Picasso. Goodness gracious. So, did he wear the dress for you? That looks like a dress to me. He didn't just wear the dress, man. He played trans, too. <laughs> no, let me know, man. Let me find out you was in the back of the car with Eddie Murphy, Dave. Let me find out, man. Now, to answer the question whether this is only happening to black men because of some conspiracy theory or agenda to emasculate the black men, or maybe perhaps this is just something that happens in Hollywood. Now, this uh, tweet on X dot com elon musk's social media site man just went viral got 2.4 million views and this was the question after the cat williams interview resurfaced right the question is can you name 20 a-list white male actors who have appeared in hollywood movies dressed as women in the last decade right well the last decade is completely irrelevant because this is 2024 so we're going back to 2014 now -uh. you cannot delete your past roles no different than these thoughts out here cannot delete their wholeness we ain't deleting the past, people, man. We got receipts. But let's look at this picture, though. You really do got all the grades. You got Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart to me, huh? I think he just did it because, you know, they kind of did hang that over his head. Kevin Hart definitely guilty. <laughs> he definitely did it, man, because he was trying to get a roll of something, man. But uh, look at this. What do we got here? Chris Tucker. That role was hilarious. You got Wesley Snipes. You got Will Smith. You got Jamie Foxx. I mean, you got all the legends. You got the, uh, the Williams brothers. Uh, who else we got up in here, man? 
you got Madea, you got Arsenio Hall. I mean, yeah, you got a whole bunch of comedians, man, and entertainers playing these uh, female characters. But now, the question is, can you name 20 A-list white male actors who have appeared in Hollywood movies dressed as women? And their answer is, yes, you can. Now, let's take a look at the video, man, and wait till the end because they missed one. They missed the most recent one who was in a multi-billion dollar box of multiple movies. I mean, this movie even played in China. So... Let's watch this uh, <laughs> compilation of white men doing it too. <laughs> Roberto De Niro, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Thor? No, not Thor. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bruce Willis. Oh hell no! Pause. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. That's not that bad though. Christian Bale. Doesn't surprise me. Shout out to the Batman. Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark. Oh no! Let's go back to that one. Marky Mark. No way. Marky Mark. This you boy. I can't believe it, man. Somebody needs to tag him, man, because he ain't really speak out on this, man. Cat Williams should have pointed him out, too. Let's continue with the list. Matt Damon doesn't shock me. Johnny Depp doesn't shock me. Keanu Re Keanu Re John Wick? John Wick? Neil from The Matrix? Nah, not Keanu. Kurt Russell? I see that doesn't shock me. Cillian, I didn't even know that was his name. Cillian Murphy. Jeff Bridges? Go, no idea who that is. Brad Pitt? Damn, Brad. No. No, Brad. You should have picked the loose dress. You should have picked the loose dress, man. Don't split your legs open, bro. You got to split the legs open, bro. I don't think you got to do all that. Jared Leto? That definitely doesn't shock me. I mean, he's in he's like a cold leader or something like that. Matthew McCockney? Damn. Aren't you a Christian boy? Isn't Matthew McConaughey like a Christian or something like that, man? I don't think he got down like that. Bob Saget and Dave Kirk? Don't, su don't surprise me. James Franco doesn't shock me. Hell of an actor, super funny. Seth Myers, Vince Vaughn, Tim Curry, Fred. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna try. Heath Ledger. Nah, 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 nah. Take my boy Heath Ledger out of this. The joke? Are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind, man? Including Heath Ledger, and that's the picture that you're gonna use? Him? He blew up a hospital. How else was he gonna hide his disguise as the Joker? He had to dress up as a nurse. The Broski would have done it too. Come on, not him. Shaka Baron Cohen. Is that French? John Cena. Oh, no, Johnny John. Oh, man, John. I could definitely see this boy. Oh, no. Andy Samberg. I don't know who that is. Oh, he did it out there publicly, though. He wasn't acting. Nah, nah, nah. We got to go back to that one. He wasn't acting, man. That guy was walking through the streets. What is that, New York City? Nah, we got to check him for real, for real. Channing Tatum. Trey Parker and Matt Stone. John Goodman. I mean, dude. I mean, the list just goes. Russell Brand. Nah, Russell Brown, Mr. Conscious, bro. You out here calling the calling out the elite man and all the corruption. And you was dressed as a bride man. Whose bride were you? Don't lie. Dan Akku. I ain't even gonna try. Steve Martin. Jimmy Fallon, Seth Rogen, and Zach Efron. Yo, they must have been busy that day. He's like, yo, man, we can't do this on three separate days. Just bring all of them in, man. We're gonna knock all of them out one by one in the same video. <laughs> Zach Galifianakis, Bill Murray, Jack Black. Are we going to continue, people? We're going to continue, man. None of these motherfuckers are. Mr. Bean? Mr. Bean? <laughs> no, Mr. Bean. I'm going to forgive you, though, because you always wear a little weird. Ro His name is Rowan Atkinson? Parkinson? That's a hell of a name. We got to stop giving these foreign actors American names. If you're going to be in Hollywood, man, you're going to appear in a movie out here in America, we're going to give an American name. Dana Carvey, John Candy, doesn't shock me, Mike Myers, we ain't talking Halloween, Patrick Swayze, Patrick Swayze, Jim Carrey, Jimmy, Jim Carrey, bro, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, The Grinch, uh, that's Jimmy Fox right next to him too, but he not wearing a dress there, Chris Farley, David Spade, Adam Sandler, <laughs> Will Ferrell, <laughs> Robin Williams, no. If you die, you die, did it too? No way. Oh, man. He he too was somebody's bride? I don't know, man. Maybe there is a conspiracy going on over here, man. But it's just that exclusive to the black dudes. <laughs> what the hell is going on over here? Not if you die, you die, bro. Ain't you from Mother Russia? 
I know they ain't seen this picture back in Russia, boy. Hulk Hogan. Gene Hackman. We're still going, people. Robert Dowie Jr. Iron Woman. Tom Hanks, right? What was the the, the character he played? Uh, Forrest Gump? Forrest Dump? Something like that? Eddie Redmayne. I mean, we're just going to keep it going, people. Rob Schneider. John Travolta. You see what I mean, black man? It ain't just y'all, man. Hollywood will put everybody on the dress. They do not discriminate, man. Y'all all gonna get pretty for us, man. Y'all all gonna get on the dress. You're gonna put on the thing. And we got a treat for you guys, man. This is the last one. <laughs> he thought he was gonna fly under the radar. This is the most recent one, too. Over here, we got Tom Holland, a.k.a. Mr. Spider-Man, man. And what do you think he happened after he put on this dress and he did that little dancing performance, man, in front of his girl, Sandaya? Check what he had to say, man. After he did all the more, <laughs> after he did all the Spider-Man movies, the Avengers, or after he got his money up, this is what he has to say about Hollywood. The nerve. You ungrateful piece of... We put you in a little dress and make you a multi-millionaire famous across the globe? You're going to come over here complaining about Hollywood. Listen to this guy. Not getting caught up in the Hollywood hype. The, the business really scares me. I understand that I'm a part of that business and I enjoy my kind of interactions with it. But that said, I am always looking for ways to kind of remove myself from it, to kind of just live as normal a life as possible. Today, doing this is a very rare thing for me to do. Like in London, to come in and speak to someone about my life is something I would not typically do. But because I'm a fan of yours and I was keen to kind of hear what you had to say and, and chat to you today. I felt like this would be a safe space for me to do that. Just like Shannon Sharp was a safe space for Cat Williams to go out there and air out everybody's business. <laughs> so is there an agenda in Hollywood? Is there a conspiracy theory or is this just entertainment? I don't know, people, man. You let me know. At the end of the day, these are all comedians. They're all actors. They play many roles. Nobody ever, you know, came out their neck for playing a serial killer or a murderer or a psychopath. Nah, they get praised for those roles, but they put on a little dress, you know, and they get millions for it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's the craziest thing that the world has ever seen. Now, Cat Williams exposed a whole bunch of comedians for stealing other comedians' jokes, right? But one comedian that was not named, and I haven't seen anybody named, was Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, I know what you did, Kevin. I know what you did in your last special, homie. <laughs> you stole from Bernie. Nah, Bernie, man. Kevin Hart stole part of a bit from the great Bernie Mac, man. And I'm going to show you guys the video right here, and then I'm going to play you guys the whole Bernie Mac joke so we can enjoy it together because this is crazy to me, man. Yo, this video needs to go viral. People need to expose Kevin Hart because I couldn't believe this. I never knew this because Bernie Mac is old school. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember what he was doing way back in the day, right? But I know Kevin Hart, so I remember his joke because it was a very popular joke when he was coming up, when he was really exploding and filling out arenas. Check this out, and you guys tell me if I'm bugging or he didn't just take this from Bernie Mac. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Uh, uh, uh. That's Bernie. That's Bernie, man. The twitching, the tonality in his voice, and the uh, uh. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> See, I can never steal from nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't got it in me, man. I'm gonna play for I'm gonna play that for you again because I mean, dude, the similarities are insane. There is no way in hell that Kevin Hart didn't see that and copy. Like he absolutely did. A thousand percent. Look at this again. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, you definitely okay. copy that from Bernie. Look at this. Look at this. Uh uh, uh. If I put the audio to both of those things, you won't be able to tell who's who. There is no way that Kevin Hart did not take that from Barony, man. That's crazy. And I'm shocked that nobody ever knew. But thanks to Cat Williams, now the world is going to see this and the world is going to know. And yeah, Kevin, I seen you making fun of Cat Williams the other day, right? Because he said he was rich. Was trying to make it seem, oh, yeah, he bought the Knicks or whatever sports team he was playing. You was watching with your little boys and stuff. Corny joke. I expect better from you because you're actually funny. I think you're funny. But I don't know, man. You don't lost your weight. Now, let's listen to the whole joke for context on Bernie Mac. It's a, it's a hell of a bit. <laughs> he, on the, he on the corner waiting on the school bus. The school bus pull up, open the door. He walks up, asks a question. Uh, 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 uh.
Bus driver closed the door and drove the fuck off. <laughs> Next day, same corner. Brother on the corner, bus driver pulled up, opened the door. He did it again. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 Bus driver closed the door and drove the fuck off. He ain't got time for this shit here. Oh, he mad now. He go home and tell my auntie, my auntie, ain't this a bitch? This shit is wrong. I'm going to school with you in the morning. And I wish that bus driver will drive off, but I bet it's going to be some smoke in the city. Oh, she took my little nephew, put him on the corner. She went in the bushes and hid. School bus pulled up on time, same corner, opened the door, he did it again. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. <laughs> bus driver did like this, closed the door, Monty jumped out. Hold on! Black son of a bitch! What's your damn problem? Deny my son his edification. Bus driver jumped off the bus and said, hey. <laughs> ah. He was teasing me. <laughs> man, be careful, man, listening to kids. Kids be lying. I know it's a bit, but kids really do be lying. <laughs> but yeah, man, Kevin, how you do it at a Bernie Mac, man? I'm telling you, man. Cat Williams is a part two to that interview, man, and air out anybody who mixed. Poor Mike Caps. Mike Caps, man. Shout out to Mike Caps. Mike Caps went on and be like, yo, bro, <laughs> you ain't mention my name. You ain't say nothing good. You ain't say nothing bad. All right, I did get a little jealous, man. Cat broke the internet and didn't say my name, good or bad. I need the press too, nigga. Shit. <laughs> say something about me in there, man. Say something bad about me. I don't care. I got a special coming out. I need the press. Man, we need a movie together. Motherfucker, I need the press. I'm on too, homie. I need to sell these tickets, man. What the hell is wrong with you, yo? Mike Caps is hilarious to it, man. He doesn't get enough credit. He really doesn't. Shannon Sharp reacts to the internet straight hating on the success that he had with Cat Williams, man. We're going to react to it because I completely agree with him. And it's crazy the amount of hate that this man is getting right now. Because, yo, everybody feel like for some reason Shannon Sharp needs to throw hands with anybody who talk bad about him. Like, my man, you put on the dress. I wasn't there for when you made that decision. You did that. You stole the joke. I wasn't there. I didn't tell you to take that joke. So now the fact that somebody's pointing it out to the world, I got to fight for you. I, I got to risk my life and my freedom. For the decision that you was making in the past at a time where I didn't even know you? <laughs> my man, my man, that's not the way things work, man. But let's listen to his reaction. It's at 27 million views. Damn! Actually, it's at 41 million views at the time of this recording, which is insane. That's Mr. Beast level views, man. It's crazy. That just shows you the kind of power that the Cat Williams has and how influential he is, man. And what's disappointing to me, because there are people that, that do what you and I do. Yeah, that had so much to say, and and it's only because of jealousy. Don't don't, don't say that. Don't put you at their level, Shannon Sharp. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco are my favorite duo on the internet right now. I mean, these two dudes are hilarious, hilarious. Because I guarantee you, if 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 Cat was on their podcast mm -hmm. and did exactly what he did on my podcast, right, they would have never said what they're saying. But he said, "I want to tell you why I came. Mm. You offer a safe place, right." For people to say and to get things, okay, fine. And then he went. My nigga. <laughs> but man, it's just everybody got something to say. Man, the, bro, that man, it's like everybody, but they never said anything. When I let Steve say what he said, when yeah. I let said what he said, what he said, when I've let everybody say what they said. Everybody hates truth tellers. <laughs> everybody hates truth tellers, man. And this is what happens, man, when everybody's morally 
compromise, right? Because like Cat Williams said, I walk in the room, they got to look down. They can't stare at me in my eyes. Cat Williams went to war with the industry, man. He went to war with these people, man, and he came out on top. So he can comfortably walk into this room with his chest out, chin up, and look at everybody in the face like, ooh, I know what you did. <laughs> I know what you did. Everybody's like, ah, oh, shit, who invited this motherfucker, man? If I knew he was going to be here, man, I would have left. People don't like to remind, people do not like to be reminded, man, of the shitty things they do. Mm -hmm. Nobody said anything. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, because it goes viral, I guarantee yeah. you, Ocho, if this video had done 2.7 million views, nobody would have said a damn thing. Nope. He ain't lying. When I got when I had Steve Harvey, I had no intentions of asking him anything about his wife, asking him nothing about his daughters. Mm. He volunteered that. Shannon, why didn't you push back and say, Well, Steve, you said this about your first wife. Steve, mm. you did this, this, and this. Nobody said a damn thing. Can't <laughs> <laughs> even ask. Well, say when when Cedric said, when I said said there were reports that Cat said that there was a joke that he told that that you stole from him. Mm -hmm. Said said I didn't steal no joke. Cap. <laughs> then receipts came out, man. Everybody and their mother made videos about it, man. Except the Kevin Hart one. He didn't call out Kevin Hart for stealing a joke, but the Broski found the truth, man. Kevin Hart stole a bit from Bernie Mac. And I did a video on it, and I'm gonna link it in the description so you guys can see. It's crazy, man. He cannot get away with this, man. We gotta blow that one up, man. Now we gotta get 42 million views, man. The world needs to know what Kevin did to Bernie Mac, man. I said, he said, you know, it don't even sound the same. Bullshit. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Tell me the last time somebody sat down for a non sporting event, two hours, 46 minutes. In five seconds. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's true. The retention must be insane on that podcast. I I know people that watched it more than once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It took me a few days to get through it. It took me a few days to get through it, man, because I don't really got the time like that. But if I had time available, I would have definitely sat there and watched the entire thing. Two hours, 46 minutes, and five seconds. Think about that. Yeah. That's a cowboy game. That yeah. 27 million people. 41 million, Shannon. 41 million. <laughs> I think this interview might touch probably like 60 million views. I really do because it's only been like seven days. It's already at 41 million. There are some sporting events that don't get watched by 27 million. 41. Mm -hmm. That's what you're mad about. You're not mad about I didn't cut this right. man off. You're yeah. not mad about that. Oh, mm -hmm. those are your boys and you let them talk about your boys. That's not what y'all mad about. No, they hating on your hard body, my man. They hate us because they ain't us, sure. And then you got to let them know, man. They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> That's not what you're mad about. Oh, yeah. you're not even a journalist. He could have got so much meat off the bone. You're not mad about that. Right. You're mad that 27 million people to the right now. 41. Mm. My part, my subscribers on Club Shay Shay jumped up 500,000. Do you believe that? Mm. That's what you mad about. That boy is good. Damn right. You mad about now all of a sudden my IG. I'm over 3 million on that. That's what you mad about. Not just now. What they're also mad about now is that everybody's going to know that the place to go is Shannon Sharp. Yeah, DJ Vlas went in bullets <laughs> all them other boys with podcasts man in the hip-hop community man the black community all oh, they saw in bullets because guess what shannon sharps club shay shay is the place to go he is the new black joe rogan you know what i'm saying the potential man y'all know what's gonna happen now man mm -hmm. somebody might come throw a boatload or unk might be. that's what you mad about yeah but when you was when you was biting the apple, I never said anything negative about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Let him know. Let him know, Shannon Sharp. I never really knew much about Shannon Sharp. I knew he used to do the whole ESPN thing. And every so often, like certain clips would go um, viral because the guy is hilarious, man. He is a funny dude, man. And uh, then he left ESPN. You know, he's doing his own thing now with the podcast game. And now he's with Ocho Cinco. And those two together, man, I'm telling you, it's a comedy show every single time. I don't watch the podcast, but I do watch all the clips that go viral. So, you know, shout out to them, man. And shout out to uh, Shannon Sharp, man. Ain't no hate over here. I mean, we don't hate, man. We elevate 